What's going on people? So today I'm going to switch things up a little bit because I have been experiencing razor bumps. So for those of you all who have been subscribed to my channel for a while, or even if you're new to my channel, I'm bald, surprise. But I've been researching, trying to figure out a way to get rid of razor bumps. Even when I had hair, I would always get razor bumps on the back of my neck and they would eventually go away. But now that I'm bald and I shave my head more frequently, well, I don't shave with a razor, but I use uh, clippers and I'll show you all the clippers that I use because if I should not be using them, then someone please let me know in the comment section. But uh, I need to start treating my head uh, better rather than, rather than just cutting it and washing it afterwards. I need to start you know, treating it with oils and things like that. So I am about to try uh, something that I saw from another channel. I believe the guy's name is Nate Matthews. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put his name in the description of this video. He has some great content. I looked across a lot of different channels, but his channel had the best content. So yeah, check his page out um, to see what he talks about uh, the best ways to prevent razor bumps from happening. So I'm going to show you all what I will be trying for the next couple of days. And I will do a uh, another video to let you all know if it works. I'll give it, I guess, maybe like a week or so. Hopefully, it you know works before then. But I'll kind of show you all what I'm uh, talking about with the razor bumps I have. So I have some on the side of my head, and you can uh, zoom in, babe. I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. So it's all in this area, I have razor bumps. And something I do on the sides, so I, I'm i cutting against the grain and that may be what's causing it, but I don't have any razor bumps on this side of my head. So I don't know why that is, why it's just showing up on one side, but I definitely have to find a fix for that because I need to shave my head twice a week to look presentable because you know as you all can see now I look absolutely crazy but I can't do anything um, you know to my head with these bumps because it'll just irritate it and make it worse. And then I also have some in the back. Um, are they on this side back? Mm -hmm. So you can zoom in and then let me know if you can see it. So my wife is uh, gonna zoom in and show you, you all the Turn it this little way, this way, there you go. Yeah, you can see them. All right, so let's see if this method that I'm about to try works. So you can leave the camera right there. I'll uh, be talking in the background. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, put some warm water on this towel, warm slash hot water. on this towel and then I want to just put it on my head well probably need to let the water warm up a little bit more first so I'm gonna do uh, warm water on the towel and then I got some some witch hazel cleansing cloths I'm gonna rub this on my head and then the last thing I want to do this was the tip that I that I got from the uh, the guy named Matthews, his channel, and it was the doing uh, big vapor rub. And this was something new to me because I would have never thought of this. So I'm hoping this works. We will see. Okay, there we go. So I'm just putting a warm towel on my head. And this is something <clears throat> Excuse me, this is something that I don't even do on a regular basis anyway, but I need to start doing because I need to, you know, do do more than just take care of my, my body in the gym. I need to take care of things like my face and my head so I'm not, you know, not looking crazy. So, 
Let's put this on here. Sorry, I need to look in the mirror. I felt crazy. Okay. And I can, even when I'm pressing the towel down on my sides, it, it actually hurts from the, uh, the irritation on my skin. So I just got the witch hazel cleansing cloth rather than doing the uh, witch hazel in the bottom. I felt like this would be easier. I probably, I don't think I was supposed to tear it off. Yeah, you but, keep that on there. All right, I'll put it back on. Well, after I take this off, I'll hand it to my wife. I'm usually the one messing stuff up around the house, but she usually has to come after me. Thank you. All right, so I got the witch hazel uh, cleansing cloth. And this is like my first time using witch hazel, which is crazy. I always use uh, rubbing alcohol, but after watching a lot of uh, <laughs> different videos on YouTube, that is apparently not the best thing to use for razor bumps. I just would always do what the what the barber did. Okay, so we're gonna clean this. I actually will probably start using this witch hazel for my face. All right. Put this all over my head. All right. And now. For the Vicks Vapor Rub, I'm just going to put some on my areas of my head that are irritated. So, all right, let me uh, flip that up over back so I can see what I'm doing, so I can see myself. Okay, thank you, there we go. It's still difficult for me to angle it down some. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna put it on the troubled areas of my head where I have like the inflammation. It's, it's all in there. So hopefully this will stop that irritation as well. And as you, as you all can see, my hair does still grow, except for right here in the corners. So that's why I keep my head bald. My hair grows everywhere else but those corners. So I literally have the George Jefferson going on for all of you all who knows who that is. All right, so I'm actually, I'm gonna stand here because I have my mirror in my bathroom straight ahead. And it's just easier for me to look in the mirror and do this. Okay. So I got in the back. And then I can raise this back up. Well, I'll say I got it in the back. I mean, I have to do it in the back now because I just did it on the side. Babe, can you close that door? Okay. Put it on the troubled areas in the back. And then, since it's late at night, I really don't want to like risk getting this on like a pillow when I go to sleep. So I'm going to find something to uh, put on my head before I go to sleep. I obviously don't have do rags or wave caps anymore. I've been bald since I was uh what since about 25 no like 26 so you know, i'm 30 now so i retired all of my do-rags and this is my first time doing this so i'm sure i'll get better as the days go all right oh and to let you all know um my last hair today is tuesday my last haircut was Saturday, so it's been two days since I shaved my head. And then 
as promised, let me show you all what I use to shave my head. And if I should not be using these clippers, please let me know. Uh, I just use the, uh, the T outliners that I get from Sally's. So, and maybe I need to do, um, no, because I do clean them. I was gonna say maybe I need to clean them more often, but I clean them every time after I cut my hair. I'll put the oil on them, brush them, spray them, and whatnot. So maybe it's just me cutting against the grain. Maybe I just have to stick with cutting with the grain. The reason I go against the grain is because I'm able to get that clean, bald look. But if anybody has any other clippers they would recommend, please let me know in the comment section below. And like I said, I will let you all know if this experiment works. If you all have any other suggest suggestions for how I can get rid of razor bumps, please leave them below. And this is still going to be primarily a fitness channel, but I am going to start doing more videos where I talk about taking care of your body and your health in general. So I'll have some uh, skincare routines for things that, I, um, that I'm gonna start doing for my face because my face does break out sometimes, probably due to lack of water intake and my nutrition. So that'll be something great to uh, implement in my videos also. But please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for the results. Peace.